let's add a game over state uh, to the game. So for now, if we have a full row or a full column or a full diagonal, so let me show it. It just prints out that X wins, but the game continues so I can place uh, further letters to the to the uh, grid so to actually create a, a game over state we just need a variable in the grid called game over which will be a boolean and it will start as false game game over so and here in the check grid method if count equals free, then print the player wins, the current player wins, and set the self.game over equals to true. But uh, one more thing, uh, what happens if, if no one wins, but the grid is already full? So let me, let me show you such a situation. I'm going to run the game and I here I'm going to place an X you run O X O X O uh, X O and X so no one wins we have no full row or full column or full diagonal but the game is still running so in this case I'm going to create a method which will always check if there is a free cell. If there is no free cell, that means, uh, although no one wins, but the game is over. So for that, I'm going to here create a method. Uh, so def, uh, def, and I'm going to call it is grid full oops def is grid full and it takes the self and we are going to loop through the grid so for row in self dot grid not game over but self dot grid and for value in row and if value is zero that means we still have a free cell so we will return false and if it if all the cells are occupied we will return true so the grid is full so I'm and I'm going to run this method here so if count equals three that means we have a full row or a full column or a full diagonal but else if it is not free that it can also mean that uh, the grid is full so I'm going to sell the self that game over Self dot game over equal to the self that is grid full method. So and this is grid full returns false or true. So let me see now if I'm go back to game dot pi here. I'm all, all only going to execute this code if the mouse button is down and the grid that game over uh, not game over so game over starts as false so not false will be true and if game over is true, then not true will be false. So this won't be executed. So let's just 
try try it. So let's place an X O X O X, and now it says X wins, and as you can see, I cannot place or cannot add uh, new letters to the grid. The next thing I'm going to add when the game is over, um, I want to add the functionality when I press the space key, it just clears out the grid and sets back the game over to false. So for that here I'm going to ask if event type event type uh, equals pygame pygame dot uh, key down key key down and which key so I'm going to ask for the key itself so event dot key key is equals to pygame game dot key underscore space space and I'm also going to ask so if the space key is uh, pressed and the grid the grid is uh, the state is game over then we are going to call the method we need to define this method first so for now just pass and i'm going to create a new method and this will be the clear uh, grid method so clear underscore grid and this will be a nested for loop so for y in range of length self dot grid and for x in range for x in range length of self dot grid at index y and i'm going to call the get a uh, set cell value at x and y to zero so this will re reset the grid all the cells to zero so now let's call this clear grid method after we press the space key and of course when the game over is true so uh, here just call the grid dot clear grid don't need the space here so grid dot clear grid and I'm also going set back the grid that game over to false. False. Okay, let me test it. So x0, x0, x. So x wins. We cannot continue the game. And when I press the space key, the grid. Uh, clears out and I can continue now the O should be the current player yes so let me win with the O now O wins and the grid we cannot place any other letters because the game over now is true so let me clear and now the game over is false, so we can continue the game. And one more thing I'm going to add here quickly is one more check for the escape button. So elif event dot uh, event dot key equals pygame escape pygame dot uh, key underscore escape I'm just wanting want to set the running uh, variable to equal to false so 
the running variables so this one so now I can exit the game just by pressing the escape key I like when I uh, can exit an application with the escape key now we have a fully functioning tic-tac-toe game in single player mode so the next few videos I'm going to rearrange the code and actually make this multiplayer game so I don't know how many videos it will, uh, I'm going to create maybe two maybe three but uh, this single player mode this code for the single player mode uh, together with the images will be uploaded to github and the link to the github uh, repository will be in the description so and I'm going to create a second github repo for the tic-tac-toe uh, multiplayer so it will be a tic-tac-toe single player which will contain this code with, uh, with the uh, grid and it, I'm going to create a second which will be the tic-tac-toe multiplayer and it will contain that code because first of all um, prepare that uh, many of the functionalities we are going to rewrite and refactor when we are going to move this code to uh, multiplayer mode and that's why i wanted to separate that first i'm going to cre create the single player and then i'm going to refactor and rearrange the code to actually make it a multiplayer game or a two players mode game <laughs> 